Hey friends, welcome back to Deeply Madly Modern. I'm Kelly, welcome. Everyone is saying that January felt like the longest month ever. I feel like it felt like a normal month, but we're so used to time flying that it felt really long. February, on the other hand, is flying by. So your girl's just trying to hold on and keep up. In my last video, I was talking about change to stay the same. Follow the bouncing ball here. I am a chronic rearranger, chronic changer of my space and I am working on creating a space that I want to keep and build upon versus 180 cross it out start over. I have to tell you I've been doing so good. I am very proud of myself not only for fighting against my fire sign urges to be impulsive but also just being really 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 thoughtful about what I put in my space. We'll get more into that but I've been up to a lot. First things first, I painted my hallway. I think we talked about it, I'm not sure. I went for this beautiful bright yellow, it's called Disco Nap from Backdrop Paint. We might have discussed, if we discussed, you have your mental note. But in addition to just the paint, I changed the hardware, which I'm super loving, and I have been actually decorating the space. So there's now a rug, there's beautiful art in the hallway, and we're gonna actually do a little bit more of a delve into small spaces because I wasn't really thinking about this hallway much. I never addressed it. I mean, I hung a few things in there. Um, there was a mirror, there was a console. It was kind of like this evolving space a little bit, but the intention of painting it and curating art from my collection and a few new things that are specifically for this space. Why didn't I think of this? It's a hallway that connects to my bedroom, to my other rooms, to my bathroom. It's a space that I'm in every single day. So why wouldn't I be very intentional about making this a little happy space? I cannot stress enough how much I love it. And it was a project that was so worth doing. The other project that I have been so excited about is that I also painted my guest room. I'm on a painting streak, okay? There's a lot more coming too. And there's gonna be some projects where I just like film it specifically for YouTube. I think I wanted to practice and sort of like get my bearing without the fumbling of the camera, but I got it now. I got it down pat and surprise, I'm a good painter. Yay, I'm so excited for that. But I painted my guest room. It is another yellow, but it's different to the one in the hallway. The one disco nap in the hallway is like very bright. This one is more like a softer golden beige buttery kind of color versus like brighter, you know, yellow. And this room, which we will be doing a full reveal on, insert my inspo pick here, is going to be so beautiful. I, I really just wanted to make this space also very intentional. It was a space that I had thought about and designed, but it was kind of like leftovers. It was more, oh, here's kind of some stuff I have. I'll just put it in this room. And I think it was okay. Um, but I wanted to honestly make it really, really, really just freaking delightful and lovely. And the bed that I had in there, that postmodern bed, flashback to the old room. It was a queen size and it just made more sense to have a king bed in there because one, the room could handle it, but also when guests are staying, it's just easier to share a king than a queen for two like grown adults. So it, it just made more sense. And I had a project where I had a mattress anyway, so why not put it to use? So I painted this room, you guys, and here are some clips of me painting and kind of my process, but I'll share that and then we'll just come right back. Part one of scamming my little sister to move to LA by giving her the best bedroom ever. Inspired by this French antique cabinet I found on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna use this color here. It's called Mood Lighting from Backdrop. Here's what the room looked like before. This room is great, but it didn't convince her to stay. Mood Lighting is this gorgeous, like antique French slash beigey cream, buttercream kind of color. Full disclosure, we just really need to put in a king bed so that it's easier for guests to share than a queen. Moving the bed from this side of the room to this side of the room, we're gonna add in some sconces I also found from Facebook. Gonna add in a curtain, some seating here, follow to keep up with this project. So the room is looking beautiful. There will be a whole separate video of a room reveal and hopefully I'll have like a guest here so we can get their reaction. Um, a guest being my sister because I really designed this room with her in mind. Yellow is her favorite color. So I wanted it to be really relaxing, feel like her own space when she's visiting. So that was also very exciting. Third paint project. Yes, your girl's been going off. Third paint project, my bathroom. 
I'm unwell at the transformation of this bathroom. First of all, when I moved in, we'll pop in a clip, it just was, it's a beautiful bathroom. They kept the original like 1920 Spanish tile, but the floor was just some like big box random tile that had no rhyme or reason with it. So I did the sticky floor tiles. They're not perfect. We'll address that another time. And then the countertops, there's like the sink and then there's like these two levels. Each one of them, legitimately a different stone. Like, why? It was very kind of here's what we have left over and not like any sort of intention in um, making it nice. So I put contact paper, renter friendly. I learned it from um, probably Drew from Lone Fox. He uses contact paper a lot. So I did that and that's kind of where it was. But painting it, it's called Harajuku Morning. It's this beautiful pale pink that when the light is in the morning and it's kind of a, it's a cooler light in there, it looks more pale. And then as the day goes on, it just really warms up. This pink looks so good in every version of the lighting throughout the day in that bathroom, which is another really big tip. You need to look at swatches in the room in the morning, midday and evening and like with artificial light because it will look totally different. So I love it when it's in its sort of like pale morning vibe. And I especially love it when it's a bit warmer, when the sun is kind of glowing into the bathroom. So we did that. And then bold move here. And I actually took this from one of the comments on TikTok. Someone said, you should paint the vanity black. I was going to paint the vanity pink, like the walls, just thinking, you know, all pink tiles, whatever. But I painted it black and I gotta say, it was a really smart choice because now the whole vanity, because the contact paper on the top is black, it just makes it really cohesive and it just sort of fades away. It's not perfect because, you know, I'm not like doing demo on the bathroom, but it did bring it up a notch and a half or two notches, many notches. Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm going to be adding some art. I'm looking for some shelving. One thing that I'm noticing is before we painted, I had a lot of my like beauty products, even if it, though it was on cute trays and things like that, I had a lot of beauty products on the surface and on the counters. And honestly, with it removed so I could paint, it just looks so much better. So I wanna figure out better storage solutions. There's like two walls on either side of the windows, like framing where the sink is. And I'm thinking that I wanna put shelving there instead of having the products on the actual counter surface because it just looks a lot more clean and I am enjoying like not having that cluttered vibe even though I mean I'm, I did the things right I put it on cute trays little vintage uh, dishes and things it just looks better without having that clutter there so that is the third paint project the other thing that we were up to in january is i did an estate sale yes i posted it on on youtube i posted it in my shorts make sure that you're always kind of looking at like the shorts or like those posts i posted the flyer image as well so many people came you guys it was wild there were like thousands of people a thousand like there was a lot of people there and um i did it at the line hotel um on my faves i posted like a lot of events there and I worked with a local estate sale company who like helped me, you know, they do the mailing out and all of that. Um, Lug helped us, Lug who I work with a lot, they brought over my stuff. One, they helped me bring it from the house to the garage, right? Cause I was just doing like a purge. I was like, I, I need this clutter to go. Like there, my house is feeling very intense. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm like redesigning, purging at the same time, new stuff's coming in old stuff is like in the way it was intense but lug definitely saved the day helping me get the stuff to the garage and then um they helped bring it over from this space to the hotel like it's more like a collector sale because i'm not moving it was just i have like an absurd amount of stuff for you know jobs like projects i'm staging things i'm rearranging i'm collecting low-key hoarding um so that was so much fun welcome to my estate sale i'm so Selling all my worldly possessions, you guys. So this was such a beautiful experience. I got to meet so many of you, so many people from YouTube, from TikTok, from Instagram, all the apps coming up, saying hi, looking at stuff. Sold one of my original pieces. It was the first time I had sold a larger piece of art. So that made me feel 
so excited. I burst into tears when they told me like that it sold. And then the woman who bought it gave me a hug and we took a picture with the piece. It was just really, really sweet and exciting. It was just fun to like also feel connected in community. You know, even though I've been living in LA for a while, I'll be honest, like the community aspect that you feel in New York is different because we're all just in the thick of it living so close together. There's so many people in the street. There's just so much human interaction versus LA. Like it's very different. So just being in like this busy space with all of these people who are there to shop my stuff and you know, many of which have followed me online for years. Like it just felt so, so, so good getting to just like hug and take pictures and meet a bunch of people. It was amazing. Um, so thank you so much to everyone who came out and spent time and vibed and bought stuff. I think it's something I would definitely do again. I had also intended this past holiday season, I was gonna do a holiday market in the same space, but the hotel had asked me to wait until the new year because like there was all this happenings with, you know, the construction on that space and just timing. I don't know if it'll be a holiday market, but I definitely can envision me and a few friends doing a sale. I did one before with my friend Alyssa and we were in her office courtyard. That was super fun. So something like that. So keep your eyes peeled. If you're not signed up for the newsletter, definitely a good idea to get that done because that is where I announce most things first. Like the sale was announced first there. So if you want to keep up, just sign up for the newsletter and that will be coming. So yeah, it's been like a busy few weeks and I have been good at like actually remembering to document things and all of that. So coming up for this month, um, this week I'm actually filming two episodes of Home Decor Homies. I know so many of you are looking for that. Home Decor Homies is coming back. Um, I'm so excited. And when you see the guests, you're just gonna like, so good. Um, we're gonna be doing one really fun, kind of different episode. I think we're gonna learn a lot because this person is so brilliant and has so much to offer in terms of like insights for a very specific, very niche thing about your home that I feel like a lot of us have no idea about like how the rules, like what we should be doing, upkeep. It's gonna be really, really fun. So I'm actually filming that tomorrow. So very excited. And then the next is another really good friend of mine who I've known for over a decade and has a beautiful home and is a total inspiration and a total badass woman. So that will be coming also this month. Very, very, very excited. So yeah, we're getting, we're getting in the flow. We're getting in the flow. We're getting there back to our regular YouTube habits. <laughs> I told you like, it's so weird. Once I stopped being regular, that sounds gross, but um, once I stopped being regular here, it's been such a mental challenge to click that muscle back on. So I so appreciate you being patient and bearing with me as I figure it out and navigating so many elements of life and all that we're up to. But fun things to look forward to, Palm Springs is gonna get a refresh. If you don't know, I bought a house in Palm Springs two years ago. We're about to celebrate the two year anniversary and we're gonna do a little bit of a design refresh a little more color, a little more painting, which we will be doing. We're gonna do it together. Do not worry, documenting everything for you here on YouTube. So that is coming up. That's a project that's coming up and I'm super, super, super excited. As you can see, the living room is coming along, y'all. She's coming along and I will have like some fun reveals soon about that as well. It's definitely been um, not fun waiting for certain pieces. I'm waiting for my rug. Um, there's a few things that are like holding me up. Another thing that has been really fun is the thrifting. I went thrifting the other day and did a little, you know, little capturing. So we're gonna take a look at that now, but the thrifting on the east side, uh, I don't live on the east side of LA, but the thrifting on the east side is elite. I'm just gonna put that out there. I was in Pasadena. One of my favorite places is the pa Pasadena Antique Market. It's so good. And there's an annex where things are like even more approachable. So there's the main building where there's a lot of antiques. Things are a bit pricier. It's very curated, super beautiful. You can still find good deals there. But the annex, low key, we, we don't gatekeep over here, the annex, it's in the same parking lot. So here's a parking lot, main building's here, annex is over here. Go to the annex first. 
and then go to the main building. There's just so much beautiful stuff. I definitely regret not getting a mirror that I found. It was like 40 bucks. I don't know what I was thinking. Beautiful wood mirror with a metal inlay. I don't know why I didn't get it. Like no idea. Anyway, let's go, let's go thrifting really quick. This video is kind of long. So if you're still here, leave a comment below. Let me know you're still here. You're still rocking with me. And let's, let's go thrifting. I don't know why I did that. But let's go thrifting. It's very bright. One second. Like I couldn't even open my eyes. <laughs> and now it's very dark. What's up guys? Um, I'm vlogging today. I'm on the streets of Pasadena. Katie and I are thrifting. I'm super excited because I don't think I've been thrifting on this side of town in literally ages. So Katie and I were like, we're overdue for a thrift date. And I was like, I'm gonna come on your side of town. So here we are. Let's go thrifting. Say it, Katie. Say your Let's line. Let's go thrifting. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this fit though. Fit is fitting. Fit is fitting. <laughs> we show them my outfit. Yes, absolutely. Oh, the silhouette so is giving. Yes. Rave. Love it. This very 90s raver silhouette. Obsessed. Free people. I'll link uh, what I can below. Yes. Telfar, free people, ASOS. Cutest. New Balance. Love it. We are going a full circle thrift. Super excited because I've never been here before. One of the places we wanted to go was closed. And so we're just doing what's open. Katie, I just sat that down because I couldn't hold it. What? Look at that shell thing. Oh yeah, a little horn. Four bucks. So Thought horn. it was cute for you. No. I don't need it, but it's cute. Yeah, see, there's some kids. Here. Yeah. I found a couple books. I found there. this. For you? Yeah. Nice. Do you think it's brass? Yeah, I it's hard to tell. It's heavy though. I think it is brass, yeah. And I love this frame. Like low key, the art yeah. isn't oh, terrible yeah, the either. Oh yeah, frame is great. Yeah. Um, it's like, whatever for. I've gotten some oh, really good like, art here before. What's the tag? Oh, seven dollars for the frame. Yeah. I can put anything in there. Amazing. Oh wait, if this okay, if this is for sale, I have to have it. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got to even show you the front. I've got to try it on. Wait. Okay, I've got put to try it on, it put on. it on. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. New Year. That's a New Year hat. <gasps> Shut up! Yes. It's like yes. It's happening. It's like it's eight dollars. Like yes. stuff. to bring me this much joy. You need I would it. pay a million. It's worth it. Okay, I don't want to alarm you guys, but we are thriving in this thrift store. I found a weird wood thing that goes on a wall. I found two pieces of art. I found a brass candle holder. We are doing so well. I can't wait to show you everything we get. So this is store number one. We're gonna check out and then we'll head to store number two. Same day, another thrift shop. We haven't even gotten inside yet. Look how great this like birds of the garden, I don't know, some kind of like bird print. And it's framed so nicely for 10 bucks. It looks great. Chairs, chairs, Kitey. Oh my gosh, <gasps> it's so big. Yes. That one, the little teapot. Yeah, that's what I like. Cute? Will you grab that for me? Uh -huh. That is really cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. 24 bucks? 24 bucks. That's very cute. Mm -hmm. I need it for 25. That's dope though. Maybe it's on sale. This is pretty. You're pretty. The food I didn't show you because I just started eating it like a wild animal since the game. It has like beef stroganoff. Apparently it's 
very good. Okay, I'm so excited. We just got to this place, Rose City Antique, that Katie has only gotten to go to twice because it's always closed and we drove by it and it's open. So let's go inside. I gotta try this on. I gotta try this beard Oh, and it's like PVC. It's like PVC rain jacket. Looks a little... With fringy arms. Okay, this place is amazing. There's so much art. There's so many good smalls. Like, I'm shook. You definitely have to come here and check it out. It's so, so, so good. Road trip, you guys. We are headed to Santa Barbara. We're going thrifting. We're very excited. Let's go thrifting. Also, they're jamming. Thrift vlog. We haven't gone thrifting in so long. I'm so excited. I'm at one of my favorite places. This is the Pasadena Antique Center. There's also like a little annex. So we're starting in the annex. I saw a mirror here last week I wanted to come back and get, but let's look around and go thrifting. How cute is this, you guys? This is like a table runner and it's 42 bucks, but it's beautiful. Un petit poisson, right? No? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another one over there. And another koi, and another koi, and another koi. That's Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Okay, I think I'm just gonna walk you guys around with me. Let's be POV. Creepy dolls, we don't need that. I know. <laughs> I like, turned around and saw that and was like, ah. Yes. Weird. We don't need the creepy dolls. This is dope. Oh my gosh. It's a little out of our range, but beautiful. There was a swan in here last time that I did not get that I'm like, should I have gotten her? I'll show you guys and you can let me know in the comments if I should have gotten it or if I should get it. <laughs> this one, oh my God. I literally almost got this last time I was here, but I was like, where will it go? Where will it go? It's huge though, like yeah. so low key. And like, look at the little feet. Tell me in the comments, should I get this? There's so much of everything here. It's actually crazy. Like imagine just running through here with your pick of the land. <laughs> actually, I actually really like this. I like the coloring and I like the scribble doodle. 
rule one of successful thrifting. If you see it, you like it, pick it up. I am so sad I didn't get this mirror that I saw here last time. It was so incredibly good. It was $40. It was a beautiful wood, the perfect size, with a brass inlay for over top of the dresser in my guest room. Someone snagged it and I'm SOL. Look at this jug, you guys. Should I get this, this pink water jug thing? It's so pretty and it's like such a good size. I'm not sure. thrifting and hanging out with me i hope you enjoy these updates i'm painting keep encouraging me because diy season is here this is the year of do it yourself i've been cooking a lot myself p.s 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 i've been cooking a lot you guys um no i'm not gonna do cooking videos here it's just like it's not gonna happen been cooking myself a lot a lot of like the home stuff that like I would normally maybe get like a task card or, or something like that. I've been just doing it myself and I'm really enjoying the process. So that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much for hanging out. I cannot wait for you to see the next episode of Home Decor Homies. It is going to be so much fun. We're going to learn so much. And then we were probably doing a room reveal for the guest room because the last piece that I'm waiting for is arriving this week. So I'll be able to show you in the next week or so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you, mean it. Bye.